Welcome to another video. My name is Amsterdam Comic Geek, aka Michael Minimbo, and I'm a journalist and I write about pop culture and comic books. In 2010, American comic book artist Mike Mignola came to the Netherlands to promote the Dutch edition of the Hellboy comics. I was fortunate enough to have a sit down with him for 30 minutes and interview him about the creation of Hellboy and his other comic book work. What you're about to hear is the audio of that interview, or at least part of it. What inspired you to create Hellboy? Um, my goal of only wanting to draw monsters. You know, I had done regular comics, Marvel and DC comics, for 10 years, and managed to get certain, kind of get out of superheroes and, and get into more supernatural kind of stories. Yeah. But ultimately I was not getting the kind of stories I wanted and at some point you realize gee if, if if I have a clear idea of what I want to draw the only way to get that job is to create it for myself yeah. so I needed to make up this character in order to be able to draw the kind of things I wanted to draw I believe you wanted to start it as a team book and then uh, Hellboy just kind of took, stood out of the team yeah or? yeah it was always Hellboy was always the main character, but I did it did have a larger supporting cast. I mean, I, I guess actually there's there is a drawing that's reprinted in the first book that shows it very much like a team book, and I'm not sure why I was thinking it needed to be a team book. Um, at the time, also I didn't know I was going to call the book Hellboy. Uh -huh. uh, Hellboy was just one of the characters, but I couldn't come up with a name for the team. So that from, right right from from that point on. It started to not be be a team book, and the only name I ever made up that I thought was funny was Hellboy. So I finally said, "Well, then we'll just call it Hellboy. We'll downplay the team thing." And within a couple of years of doing the comic, the Hellboy character, who wasn't it wasn't my intention originally to really explain who this character was or to make him the focus of the book. Uh -huh. He was just. It was just supposed to be funny that the good guy looks like the devil. Yeah. I wasn't going to get into him being the beast of the apocalypse or anything else. But when that stuff sort of happened, I found myself with all these characters, these these supporting characters, Ape Sapien and, and these other characters, and there was no way to get them back into the book. The uh -huh. Hellboy story was taking over and squeezing them out, which is why we had to do the BPRD series. It's all been very organic. You know, you plant these seeds yeah. and some grow faster or bigger than, than others. But I, I read somewhere that Hellboy is partly based on your dad. Is that true? Yeah, in that I wanted the character to be older and I wanted him to be much tougher than me, you know. So my father, who worked in a, uh, uh, a woodworking shop, uh, would always come home scraped up and and you know, dry blood on the side of his head and you know what happened to you and he'd say oh yeah I got stuck with a nail or my hand got caught in this machine but it was always so no big deal kind of casual and, maybe yeah because because and he was just very tough you know and his hands you know were the hands of a guy who who worked hard with his hands and I and anyway he's from that World War II generation yeah and I wanted that kind of a guy you know which is nothing like what I'm like so physically I knew Hellboy was from that time had lived that kind of a life has wandered around the world fighting stuff and getting his you know his his something's bitten his arm or it's chewed off his hand or you know, all these things have happened to him and he just gets up and walks away. Yeah. You know, so that's in that way, Hellboy is is modeled on my father. But then, you know, all of Hellboy's personality is is mine. Could you could we elaborate a little bit on that? Which characteristics of Hellboy would you say is typical Mark Mignola? Well, what the way he talks. I mean, the things I, I didn't know as as a new writer. Yeah. I didn't know how to find a voice for a character except for. Well, what would I say? Um, in a way, the two voices that go on in the Hellboy comic are kind of biblical Shakespeare, which is what the uh, the bad guys speak. And then, you know, Hellboy is the other part of my brain that gets embarrassed by trying to write this big, 
dramatic speech, and Hellboy will say, you know, shut up, or uh, there's one thing where the vampire goes on and on and on, and Hellboy says uh, something like, you know, big talk for a guy with no pants, or, you know, some, some really stupid line, but that's, that's that part of my brain that's embarrassed by the fancy stuff. 